Hi guys, it's the 16th of October 2010 and here's another gig log. Okay, here we are, we're on our way. So tonight, what have we got ahead of us? I'll probably repeat myself, I normally do, but we have a 60th birthday, but also a 18th birthday combined. And I think, to be honest, the 18 year olds have hijacked the evening. I have three playlists all on scribbled bits of paper of songs they want to hear and yet there are a few party songs but most of them are stuff I wouldn't normally play uh, but also chart stuff as well so I've sort of done a little bit of research I've pre pulled out some tracks that I've listened to that I thought they may like from the artists they've chosen and um, we're gonna see if they like them or not but funny enough sometimes when you dread an evening because of the music it turns out to be a lot better than you may think so uh, well we're on our way so here we are oh DJ travel I wonder if that's there for me I wouldn't have thought so oh, I'm a bit misty up here so uh, I believe I'm in the main ballroom here at the Calcott Hotel now if you haven't been here before or you don't know the area it's literally just a few minutes away from where I live and uh, I have been known to walk to be honest but funny enough tonight's not one of those nights so we're coming out to the back entrance we have a little joke going on with uh, Vossi the German wedding DJ and uh, Brian Red you know I'm in the uh, Scheisenwagen it's a well-known make but we still got the old motor still going anyway got to change that soon I've been saying it for two years so let's see what happens with that I'm gonna show you the walk-in not too bad at all. Now I've got the doors open. When it was designed, at least they thought about the acts and the DJs, so straight onto the stage. Oh, pulled the mixer out, ready to join up. I'm here nice and early tonight. Normally when it's a wedding, oh, where are you? Turn that around. Normally when it's a wedding, there's people here. It's just a birthday party. They're probably not going to be here until, what, seven, half seven? It's 20 past six at this stage. I'm near home, so I don't have to bring a load of uh, you know, spare stuff with me. I always bring a microphone. I'm going to use their microphone. I've got my radio microphone I'm going to try for the first time tonight. If I can find some batteries. And uh, just get ready. Ready to set up. As you can see, what a nice room we have here. You've seen it a few times before. The music I'm going to be playing tonight, I think, will be somewhat different to normal. I can't remember whether I've done that. I can't be able to set up yet, to be honest with you. I've done it so many times, it gets a little bit boring, so I'm going to just take you around. Okay, we've got an old, old mixer here, old Behringer. It seems to be working well. It's, uh, oh, where are we? Don't know what happened there. Anyway, uh, we've got a Behringer here. It's a Pro Mixer DX1000. I think mainly because it's got quite a few channels here and, uh, the bands plug into this as well. It's, it's getting on, but it's still working, touch wood. There we go. For the CDs, we've just got a, a new mark set up here. And uh, underneath, you can't see it's dark. And we've got a spare one of those in the cupboard just in case. But I am near to home, and I've told them that if ever it goes down, you know, call me up. But they have got a mobile set up in the restaurant next door, so they can bring in. Oh, there's a spare CD player. Another new mark one here. Speaker systems. Look, a couple of nice, I think it's FBT subs there. Quite small ones, powered, but they do the job nicely. And we've got four, what look like, perhaps 12 inch or perhaps 10 inch EVs. To be honest, that tweeter on that one sounded a bit dodgy. We have a Mystic. We've got LED spots and some old fashioned spot lighting. We have a Chave 4.1 view. We've got some nondescript uh, laser up there. And star cloths everywhere and LED around the stage. But we have some hidden scanners here, which are nice. And another cluster laser here. And the sound is powered by two EVQ44 professional amps. We also have a little uh, NJD amp for the bar area and some lighting control here. So that's it, that's what we've got to work 
with, but it's very adequate and uh, yeah, it does make the evening easy to come in and uh, once you're familiar with the gear, you, know, you can just get on with it. So that's what I've got to do now. I've got to get on so with it. So where's my normal Shaw microphone? I'm uh, checking out this Trantec S4.4 UHF wireless system. I picked it up at BPM and uh, if you want to get one, because I can recommend it because I've actually used it. Now uh, you can get it from RSD Music. I'll put the link if I remember it. If I don't put the link, remind me and I will put it up. So uh, I'll show you the microphone. What I have, that is, is the quality of the feel. The quality is indistinguishable between mine and the, uh, the, Shure, the Shure microphone that I'm using and this one. So that's interesting. On the box, we have here which is a solid metal construction. If you want to look at a review, Jonathan Elliskins does a, a three part review on it. Uh, going back a year or so ago, the list I've got.
with a bit of hard work. Turned out to be great. And here we are at the end of the evening. Of course, we played the normal. Uh, well, turn this round so I can see what I'm doing. Right, we played the. Uh, Ah, you know, we played the normal uh, out with Frank Sinatra, and of course um, New York, New York. But I thought we've seen that a million times before. So, so a few thoughts uh, from this gig. One of them was up with the That's lovely. You can't be a gig where you're almost home at what is it? 25 past midnight, and uh, in fact, it's 23 minutes past midnight. Um, <laughs> when you finish at midnight and I was slightly late and I took my time so uh, that was nice there's a lot to be said for that so I really enjoy working there at the Calcutt Hotel nice group of staff people they know what they're doing so uh, you know if I was gonna have a party I would have it there might not have me as a DJ but perhaps I'd have Tony as the DJ but uh, other than that um, we're home right we're back here at Maple Durham a little bit of wind interference. I'm not sure I phrased that correctly, but hey. With the kids and the dogs and all that sort of thing. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, the morning after the night before. So I just want to do a, a quick thought about the gig log last night. And this is something that an experienced DJ like myself, it proves a point really. I was a little bit concerned about this gig because uh, uh, it was an 18th and a 60th wide gamut of information I got on the playlist of music they must have some of it I'm not that expert on I gotta be honest so I thought oh, what's this gonna be like is it gonna be like one of those ones you know can't please anybody but I worked hard I went back to basics and uh, really thought about how I was grouping the music and uh, putting it together and I slipped some of my old stuff in as well you know what it was a great night great crowd they really enjoyed it they trusted me and I think once they gained that trust, they would dance to anything, all night, bouncing all night. So, really good gig, and uh, I won't think about it in the same way in the future. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the British countryside in autumn time, and uh, I'm out of breath already. Anyway, as always guys, DJs, stay mobile.